Elaine Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager in Los Angeles, California. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to talk to you today about the five steps to getting exactly what you want. Everyone out there watching right now, I know you want something in your life. There's something you dream of that you really want to have happen. And it's never going to happen if you're just thinking about it. It's not going to happen if you are taking little actions towards it and then hoping something really big will happen. It's not going to happen if you are being too afraid to go after it. It's not going to happen if you are expecting it to just drop in your lap and happen to you. That is not how life works. Life works like you have a dream, you set a plan of action, you start taking those actions no matter what. And eventually you start getting the results. Sometimes they come quickly. Sometimes, sometimes they come slowly. But they come if you're working for them. If you really work hard towards them. Okay? So a lot of the times people want to be successful, but they don't want to put the work in to get it. Now you say to me, why, how do I know about being successful? Well, I've been very successful for a lot, a lot of years. Okay. I don't brag about my success, but I have plenty of money in the bank. I drive a Mercedes. Um, I have everything I could possibly want. I love my home. I have a beautiful marriage with a man I love more than anything on the earth. Don't let me cry. I had to go through a lot of different not so perfect men for me to find this wonderful man, but it was because I made a decision that I was never going to settle for someone that wasn't great, that I deserved someone amazing. And when I made that very clear decision, I was able to attract an amazing and wonderful man in my life. And I recognized that he was present and I chose him as opposed to other choices that would have been less than that. So I valued and honored myself. And that's what you need to do. You need to value and honor yourself. And so the first thing that you need to do in order to be successful this seems like a no-brainer, right? It's take action. Take action. Action is the only thing that leads you out of your head, out of the dream, out of the fantasy, into reality. Action. And you should be taking an action every single day towards your dream. You have to talk to people that you don't think you deserve to talk to. And I say that because a lot of times people feel they're not good enough, that they're not worthy of success, that they don't deserve to talk to the head person in charge or, you know, a big agent or the head of a network or whatever, whatever your goal is, that you don't deserve to talk to someone like that. Like, why would they waste their time with you? You're nobody. You haven't done anything. You've got to get rid of that thinking. You have to talk to people that you don't think you should be talking to yet. People that are way above your level. People that you don't think would take your phone call. You've got to make phone calls, introduce yourself, go out to lunch with people, take people to coffee, talk to people that you know who know people, go after the people you need to speak to. You need to talk to certain people, then you have to believe in yourself enough to talk to them. This is the third step to having whatever you want to have in life. Keep going after your goals, even when everything inside you is trying to tell you to stop. Everything inside you is trying to sabotage you. Not today. You're too tired. It's not good enough. They probably don't want you. You have to go after what you want, even when everyone around you is telling you you can't do it. Family members who aren't supporting you. Friends who are like, yeah, you can't do it. Because you've heard of that saying, right, that... People don't want you to be successful, so they tell you that you can't do it, when really they're just saying they can't do it. They are too afraid. They are afraid of your success, okay? In order to have what you really, really want in life, you've got to stop listening to all of those people. Those people are not you. They do not determine who you are or what you're capable of becoming or doing or having in your life. Only you can determine that. Those people are not in charge of you. Step four, you have to surround yourself with people who believe in you. People who say to you, you can do it. Yes, come on. I know you can do it. You can do more than you think you know. 
You can do more than you think you're capable of doing. You can do bigger than that. You can do better than that. That's the kind of people you need around you. People who not only are saying that to you, but are helping you achieve the things that you want to achieve. You can't have the people around you holding you down and holding you back. So you can love them, but some people you really have to love from a distance. Here's step five. You have to have goals bigger than you even think you are capable of fulfilling. Your goals have to be so big that you have to grow into them to achieve them. Don't have small goals. Small goals get you small results. You need to create huge goals. And as you are out there working hard at them, you will learn what you need to learn. You will meet people you need to meet. People will help you along the way. Because like Oprah said, when you are walking in the purpose of your life, the universe will open up and support you. But you've gotta be walking directly and steadfastly with vigor and passion and enthusiasm. Keep pushing and pushing towards your dreams until you either make it or you die trying. Being afraid or not thinking you're good enough or not believing you're capable enough will keep you stuck but you are greater than you're telling yourself you are. And you are more capable than you even know. And you are more deserving and more worthy than you're allowing yourself to feel about yourself.